Hi everyone. Well, we are continuing on in our series painting through my mom's flower garden and we have a yellow hibiscus flower this week. I absolutely love this flower. I didn't realize it was a hibiscus. It's just a little bit different than the one we painted a few weeks ago, but I love how bright yellow this is. Um, so when we paint together, we're actually going to do a background first and then we're going to add it um, in the flower and then the bright pink in the middle. So we really are going to create a fun pop. I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everyone, well, we are back as we're painting through my mom's garden. We're gonna be painting actually more hibiscus flowers today. My mom had sent me this gorgeous blossom and I had painted this one before and I didn't realize it was a, a hibiscus. It looks different from the other hibiscus we painted earlier this year, but it's such a gorgeous yellow. It's so vivid and my mom sent me the picture multiple times and I had well, I had been watching it when I was back in California. So I thought we should really, we should really do this today. Now I am, painting on a four by six again as i mentioned last week i'm creating some art just to create and to add into some of my my snail mail and so we're going to continue on with that but if you wanted to this blossom is so big if you wanted to use you know i'm um, a six by eight as well that's going to work very very nicely you probably don't want to use like a square sheet of paint it just is going to paper because the bloom is so big and we need a little bit of space for the um, for the stem, but sometimes a square piece of paper, it, the bloom almost looks like super oversized, I think, just my opinion. So anyways, let's go ahead. I've got a very simple sketch. Notice that it has five petals and they're almost like underneath one another and just a really beautiful design. I am gonna go ahead. Um, I wanted to have, the yellow is so bright. I wanted to create a background. So we're actually gonna start with the faintest, faintest, light green is I think what I'm going to go for. I was going to go for pink, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to go for just a bit of a green background. It's just something a little bit different. So I'm going to do a bit just of a wash and I'm going to get pretty close into all of my petals and we'll end up painting the petals last so that we don't have any mixture of paint moving in. And I may end add a little bit of yellow in the wash too. I'm not going to add pink, right? Because pink and green tend to turn to brown. But that's maybe a little bit more. I'm just adding a little bit of water. I did. I just wanted something to soften this up a little bit, not to be like a super contrast color, but maybe just to soften it up. The yellow is, and and to make the yellow pop a bit too, because the yellow is super bright. And we're going to be using. I have both a lemon yellow. But the lemon yellow is a bit cold, but it's it's such a nice yellow. It's so bright. It's a nice base. And then I add a warmer yellow on top when we do those blooms. So once again, I'm just doing a little light wash around the flowers and just prepping this here. And then what I think too is I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow just in a couple of areas. And you can hardly tell, really. I'm wanting just to create a nice soft background. We don't want to keep it like completely white today. So again, just adding a little bit of color there. And then I am going to go ahead with that yellow and I have my blossoms right on this little guy. That's not quite unfolding. Okay, so we'll let that, that's going to start to dry. Um, I am going to grab my pink and what I've done is I've mixed pink and red. They are just right here on a side by side on my palette. So a little bit more pink than the red. This is a pretty bright centerpiece, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna dab my five little stems that are sticking out. And then I'm gonna grab some water. And what I didn't do quite right on this other guy is there's all these yellow stems. Stems are also, the, the pollinators is what I call them. They're all, they're all yellow and it's really just the inside that's pink. So I'm gonna kind of dance around this and then we will see about dropping some yellow in there after the pink dries, that could be dangerous with watercolor, right? And so I'm gonna get a little bit more paint and I'm using a number two brush because I really just wanted something super tiny. So I felt like I had a bit more control with the paint. And if you feel like it's too pinky, just add a bit of red and dab that in there. It's really lovely. Okay, let's go ahead. Now I am actually going to go and grab some yellow and I'm going to go ahead with my stem here and I'm going to put just some yellow down on my stems and my leaves. And I'm going to pick up the bigger brush and now I'll pick up some green. 
and I like to have multiple colors in my in my leaves and these are a darker green so we'll come back with another layer but all leaves as you look at them it's always interesting because there's a lot of different color greens on there sometimes they're more blue green or a yellow green and just for the sake that we're using a lot of yellow today I don't want to introduce a blue into this particular palette this is kind of where we we use a bit of our creative license right now I have to tell you one of the things that's coming up I have so many things in the works I'm excited but um, one of the things that's been really fun is putting together some bouquets from fresh cut flowers I was at a retreat last week with Victoria magazine it was wonderful I wrote a blog on just some of the highlights I'll include that link below but we had the opportunity to listen to a gardener Desiree Lee and um, she was just phenomenal and she gave us some hints and then the week before I'd been to Victoria at this retreat I'm sorry it was a couple weeks ago when I was in California my uncle his um, one of his friends has a gorgeous garden just full of flowers and she had given him a bunch of flowers to bring to put into a vase so I've been kind of dabbling and it's been so much fun to play with cut flowers from the garden and create your own bouquet. And then I thought, well, what's better than to paint them, right? Okay, no, so let's grab our yellows. I'm gonna grab my lemon yellow. And again, this is a super, like see how almost cold that is? It is a super cool yellow. And you can see I'm also just kind of moving around some of the edges. You'll notice the petals were almost straighted a little bit they have i did a little bit of pen work with this one where you can see where i was just dabbing it with the pen but i wanted to on this one to see if i could create some color and we're actually gonna we're gonna use a little bit of purple and see if we can create a little bit of shadowing we'll see that may not be great but we'll find out okay i'm just gonna pick up a little bit of water because i want that to be a little bit lighter and then i'm gonna go in for my darker yellow or really it's just a deeper a warmer yellow I'm gonna grab my cadmium yellow now and you're gonna see too like see how that yellows together really they make that pop of the hibiscus because it's quite yellow but it's neither a lemon yellow but it's not it's a pretty bright yellow like it's not a sunflower yellow it's not a marigold yellow it's definitely there's no orange and that's why we want to be careful of getting the pink mixed up too because there is no orange really in this flower and so i'm going to be really cognizant i i leaked a little bit in the last one and so i'm just kind of moving this around if you want it if you want to gamboge is a super warm might that'll add if you feel like your yellow is almost washed out you could add and i'll add like a, just a bit of gamboge which just be sparing about it because it it is more warm and you start to, to we don't want to lean again towards the sunflower yellow or marigolds or anything like that. So I'm just going to again add it over here or like zinnia yellow. This hibiscus is a very bright yellow. Okay, so we have that in now and that looks nice. And really, I still want to put it in here, but I'm nervous to be perfectly honest. I'm afraid it's going to go everywhere. I am going to pick up just a bit of purple with my number two brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and where I saw, I just wanna add in a little bit of shadowing. And if you feel like that's too much and it does kind of look like it, let me add it where I was seeing some shadowing over here on the flower, where I just had some like some lines. I can pull that down like this. See, I'm just gonna pull it down. So you're never even gonna register that it's really even purple. What we are doing is just creating a shadow little bit more just a little bit I'm gonna put some right in there and down there and don't worry we're gonna add some yellow over that so if you feel like that's too much either take a dry brush and then sop up that color like this because the you can use a paper towel or a soft cloth as well but it just tends to smear a paint a little bit I don't want to do that okay I'm gonna grab now make sure you sure you're using a round tip paintbrush and then take your yellow, whatever yellow, you can use lemon on for this, and just right in the middle, we're gonna finish up, and I'm just gonna kinda create some lines. I'm just gonna kinda dab in the middle for where those stems are. And I'm almost gonna set the paint down. I'm not even like doing brush strokes, I'm just setting it down. I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna see here, because it's not like there's a white space, right? And I'm gonna just go ahead, finally, and right like this, I'm just gonna lay that paint down and I'm hoping that pink is dry enough. It looks like it is, that it's not going to turn into a lagoon of pink. 
and it looks like we're doing good. I mean, and the worst comes to worst, if it does, well, then you just mop it up, right? It's not a big deal, not the end of the world. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the lemon yellow. I'm gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna set that down. This is looking really nice. And if you want to do some splatters, you totally could. On the green's gonna be nice and it's darker now. And just add in some splatters. I'm gonna put some yellow right on here. Liven that up just a little bit. And I know we don't have any pink anywhere else, but I think that's okay for this particular flower because it is such a showstopper of that bright pink in the middle. Um, usually I would wanna spread the color around the rest of the painting, but I don't, I'm not too worried about that with this one. I'm just gonna add some darker green here, right over there. That's looking really good, right? Just add in a little bit of color there. Coming back. Dare we add just a little bit more pink? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add just a bit more pink and red. And we're, okay, it's gonna go in just a little bit. That's okay. I'm not gonna be too worried about that. And if it, especially if it just stays there. And you know, if it doesn't, again, take that dry brush and just mop it up just like that. And then mop it up here just like that. And I take the, just twist the brush and I usually have a couple dry brushes because this happens a lot, right? I get impatient. And we're just gonna move that around. All right, and I don't mind a little bit of the veins coming out. I think that's that's really lovely. Okay, and I think that, that looks nice. It's beautiful, it's a great rendition of the hibiscus. It's bright. Do I love the green background? You know what, to be honest, I probably would, if I did this again, I would do a, um, I'd probably take the pink and do a light pink. That would probably make it pop a bit, little bit more but it's lovely. I think I will write like hibiscus flower, summer 2023, you know, from Pam's backyard on it and just kind of create a little, a little, um, almost like a little postcard. And um, for sure, my mom will, will get one. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I come back next week. Um, we are definitely going to be having fun painting those bouquets of flowers we find in the yard. So I will see you then.